Okay, guys. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry that this is what you get for me today. We're going to try to push through it. I'm dealing with a few things and heartache is just never fun. So let's pull ourselves together for a few minutes. We're going to warm up. We have a quick little EMOM today. It shouldn't take us 10, 20, uh, 25 minutes maybe. Math is not mathing. So let's go ahead first, do some warm up real quick. First thing I want us to do is work on our hinge. So stand feet directly under our hips, neutral bend in the knees. We're gonna put those hands in our hip crease Spread those 10 toes out and just send that butt back behind you. Really feel that stretch in those glutes and those hamstrings. Squeeze through the glutes. Press those big, do big toes down through the floor and stand. And go again, pushing that butt back and stand. Oof. Really want you to think about Pushing, 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 and standing up. Don't think about leading with your chest. Don't think about anything else. Really focus that mind to the glutes. Give me a couple more here. I want you to grab one of your kettlebells, preferably something medium weight. We're just gonna stand up with that bell, hold it. Slowly, you're gonna roll your chin to your chest, slide that bell down as you allow yourself to roll all the way down and forward, releasing through the upper back. Hang for a second, and then you're gonna slowly roll back up. Last thing to come up is that chin from the chest. Go again, slow and controlled here. Perfect, give me a couple more. Really release and hang before you come back up. And last one. You can set that down. And I just want us to go through these one more time. So going back into those hinges. Very simple moves today, guys. All right, set your feet and hinge that butt back. If you wanna add in the arms now, you can reach as you hinge, pull in as you stand. Give me one more. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go back into our last Jefferson curls here. Ready, slow and controlled on the way down. Give me one more, guys. Sorry, I know I'm quiet today. It's probably going to be like that a little bit. So 
Some of it's because of the workout itself. Some of it's just, it's my day. All right, set that on down. Look, most of the time I can show up for you guys. I can push whatever I'm dealing with to the side. Today is just not completely one of those days. So if you need more instruction today, maybe skip this video and do a different one. Otherwise, we're gonna set our timer for 10 minutes. We have an EMOM. Every minute on the minute, we're switching. So our odd minutes, we're gonna start with our deadlift to a catch. Our even minutes are going to be a chest press to a pull over. So you're gonna want something that is challenging in weight. You have 15 reps of each. You're gonna do 15 within the minute, whatever minute, whatever's left of your minute is gonna be your rest. So your deadlift to a catch. Set your feet up for your deadlift, just like we did in our hinge position. Neutral bend in your knees. You're sending that butt back. I don't want you to think about pushing that bell to the ground. I want you to think about really sending the butt back. You're gonna push through those big toes and catch using the momentum, release, and go again. This is gonna be two, and catch, release, and go again. Your second move, let me grab my towel blanket thingy. <laughs> Your second move is going to be A. Go. Pull over to a chest press. Wooey. You're going to lay it down. Sit on your butt, grab your bell, lay it back. Bell's going to start at your chest. You're going to press. Pull that bell over, pull it down, press, and pull. Really trying to keep that lower back into the ground, trying not to expand through the ribs here, pressing and pulling over for a total of 15. So again, once you finish the 15, whatever's left in the minute is going to be your rest. Those are the only two moves that we have for our 10 minutes. So let's set our timer. Starting with our deadlift to a catch. We're gonna get right into it. And we have three uh, circuits today. So let's go in 10 seconds. Starting with that deadlift to a catch, aiming for 15 reps. Ready, big breath in, pick that bell up, set your feet. Deadlift, one, catch, release. And 15. You have 10 seconds to get yourself down onto the mat and lay it on back. We're going for our presses to our pullovers. Press, lower, pull, and pull. That's one. Stand it on up, we're going into round two.
finish your 15 wherever you are. You still have 20 seconds. I did that one a lot faster because I needed the rest. seconds left. Start to make your way on down. One for me, 15, 10 seconds left. This is a great workout just to set some music and zone out to, because you know what you're doing for a few rounds. Ready? Back into those deadlifts. those up guys. We only have four sets of these left. Go ahead and start to make your way down to your mat. Ready? Ten seconds left. Budge. I lost a bud. Going. I lost an earbud. No, I found it. I found it. Let me make sure I didn't pause you guys because that would suck. Oh, uh, no, y'all are good. Okay. Ah, shit. Sorry, guys. If y'all heard music, I apologize. All right, get back into your pullovers with your rows. We're struggling with all the things. So sorry. So sorry. Her, I'm also all knotted. My hair gets washed today. Thank goodness. I won't be able to finish the 15 because I was walking around and everything. So I'm gonna just finish, or I'm gonna just do these until it gives me the 10 second mark. 
but y'all finish up trying to get in your 15. Don't pay attention to me. Today is just one of those days. Fudge. One of those days, y'all. Ready? We're going into our final round. those up guys and make your way down. We have our last pullover. All right, last one guys. Ready? Finish up your 15, 13 for me, 14, and 15. And right in time too. All right, take a second guys, get the knots out of your hair if you're feeling them. I'm gonna wrap my hair a little bit differently because it is knotting so bad because it needs washed so bad. Okay, we have an eight minute EMOM now. So last time, we're gonna do a sumo squat to an upright row, and we're gonna do a curl to a tricep extension. So, I'm going to scoochies this for a second. You're still on your 15s. That's our goals. Your sumo squat to a row. Feet are gonna be wide here. You're gonna take it down to squat. Stand, pushing through those heels. Pull that bell up, that's one. Squat, pull that bell up, that's two, okay? Your curls to triceps. Elbows are tucked into the ribs. Curl, you're gonna press it up. Change to your tricep extension, bring it back down, release for two. Okay, that's what we've got, but we're only eight minutes on for this one. So, let's fix our timer to reflect eight minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the squats, ready? Squat to your upright row. In five, three, two, squat. There's one, squat, it's two. Try to make it fluid. job. 20 seconds if you're done or go ahead and finish up. Going into that curl.
those elbows close. down to 10. Here's 10 for me. That still gives me 10 seconds to rest. I was not going to be able to finish 15. So if you can't do 15, choose what your new number is. Go ahead and get into your squats. those up guys alright y'all ready I'm going for my 10 again guys. Come on. You got this. Ready? guys going back into our curls ready pick it up Last round, you guys. Come on. Let's finish it up. We just have four minutes after this. That's all core. Let's go.
20 seconds to rest. Last one. Ready. Ready, guys. Pick it up. Last curls. Just in time. Just in time. Shit. Okay. Oh, the legs are shaking. The little arms are shaking. <laughs> we have two moves. Four minutes for core. Zombie crunch. You're going to be holding the bell. I'm going to give my arms a rest while I show this. Holding the bell directly over your chest. Arms extended. You're crunching straight up. Tiny movement through the core here. You're not sending those ribs to your hips. You're sending that chest straight up, okay? Move two. You can hold the weight. We're gonna do Russian twists in either of these moves. If your arms are absolutely burnt, don't worry about lifting the weight or you can go super, super light here. It's up to you. Choose. Okay. We are going to take our zombie crunches. The goal since it's only technically two rounds per move, we just wanna work the entire minute. So we're gonna switch from one minute, when it hits the 10 seconds, we'll take that rest. So it's really, you're working 50 seconds. I am dripping sweat. I think it's also just my demeanor today has me running hotter, but it's fine. So yes, we're gonna work until the timer tells us 10 seconds are left. And then we're just going to take that 10 seconds to transition right into the next move okay ready so 10 minutes to go grab your weights lay it on your back if you're using a weight starting with that zombie crunch weight is above your chest ready inhale exhale press 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 Ooh, sweaty Oh, 
I'm sorry. 10 seconds, guys. I'm so sorry. Pick up that weight. I was in my own world. Exhale and press. Ready, set the bell down, set it up. We're going into our last move. Big breath, lean it back, and twist. Twist, twist, twist. Keep going, guys. This is your last 50 seconds. bad juju out of my way and I will see y'all next time with a much sunnier personality <laughs> all right love y'all thanks for watching bye